Ella Nachman, the Chief Market Strategist at Paradigm, is here with a look at the market action. Hello to you, Alan. What do you have to tell us today? Hello, Angie. Stocks are set to get serious. We're done with our summer fun. Uh, we've seen now, with the after the holiday, are stocks going to stay or are they going to stall? The markets will tell us. You have a new way of trading with an emphasis on commodities such as oil and gold. Bring us up to date as you track your trades. All right, speaking of markets, our new money management over the last couple of weeks that we developed uh, is example is Barrick Gold. Uh, we sell half our position at 100% gain, which we had done. And then we move the second half up to lock in, put in our stop loss at 50%. So we've been stopped out of the second half. Now the position is done and we followed our plan. Tell us about your new trade. All right, today's trade trigger, a familiar stock to anyone that follows me here, Cleveland Cliss. CLF is a stock. It's a great cyclical stock. We've played it up, uh, up, up and away many, many times over the last few years. Uh, and now it's down near its bottom base. Now this is a stock that's been be between 10 and 20 for the last two years. So 15 is important midpoint. We were very near there just a, a few sessions ago. Uh, now we backed off one more time, but a pop above that 15 midpoint can send it to $20. What else do you see happening in the charts that could signal what might be ahead for Cleveland Cliffs? There are also gaps up above at 1450 and at 20. So that's important to see from the risk reward standpoint. We've also got bullish divergence in the fact that it's made new lows, but not new highs implied volatility. It's something we've used over and over again. And even in this stock, uh, just a few months ago, we had a 50% gain uh, on our first half of CLF. Uh, in, in, in this strategy. Now, we're also seeing the money flow into this stock, the smart money, uh, so that's a very positive sign. What's your trading strategy using call options? The way to play, looking at a January option, January options have five months of time, so we're buying some time here. The stock's trading about 12.25, we're buying the, the $10 call, um, so we're seeing that trade at about 3.50, 3.75 or so, uh, for that particular option, uh, but it's a couple dollars in the money with plenty of time for development. Let's get those trading day takeaways. Let's talk trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one, 18 away. The recent rally in the S&P absolutely straight up from that August 5th low was about 10%. Uh, so that was very impressive. We got within 18 points of the all time high in, uh, in the S&P before we saw that profit taking Tuesday. Number two, Price makes news. So Tuesday, there wasn't any real definitive reason for the market seeing that unwinding that we've seen, which was about 2%. There was much less panic than the 2% move that we saw on August 5th. Um, so it was just after the Labor Day, markets caught uh, people kind of sleeping and, and took some profits. So uh, the simple story is that stocks were sold. It doesn't really matter the reason. It doesn't seem like there was a reason, but that's just the fact. And number three, S&P is sideways. Got very, very close to the top, unable to do so, so you saw some disappointment selling there. But essentially for the last two weeks, we've been between 5,500 and 5,650. So a break above that 5,650 level sends it to 5,800 and new all-time highs. So right now, we are just trading sideways. Consolidation is very much positive for the overall uptrend in this bull bull market. And a bull you shall forever be. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.